Brindle South. On his right side, Parsons nicks it off his toes. What a good touch by Parsons and a good save by Curto. Well, that's exactly the bit of positivity that was missing last attack. And it was almost with the heavy touch of Josh Brindle South going to come unstuck as well. You can see them moving the MacArthur players around and finding some nice space. O'Shea. Henry Hall was hiding behind the referee. Now he receives the ball and opens up for the shot. Not his finest. Henry Hall, who's been in good goal scoring form, but as we see from this angle, was never really troubling Philip Curto's net. It was poor technique, unfortunately, for Hall, who's done well this season, and he made good space then. Technique let him down. Free kick for Jay O'Shea. <laughs> Swings it to the penalty spot. Demi goes to ground. And no meaningful goal-bound touch. I think it was if there was any contact from Demi, it was certainly with his hand. It's a dangerous-looking free kick. Raw trying to capitalise on a first half where they've dominated possession. Oh, and expecting the net to ripple. The trajectory was good. It took a deflection, and it will be a corner. There's been plenty of huff and puff from the Raw since. Not nearly as much inspiration from MacArthur. Can they score a goal that would very much be against the run of play here? They can! Ulysses de Villa! The sucker punch! And MacArthur lead! And the Raw won't know how they're behind. You snooze, you lose in this caper. And de Villa makes it 1-0. Well, he's in the top couple of... Most dangerous players in the comp. On the Harvey Norman replay, we're about to see why. Ulysses de Villa. He just angles the shot beautifully. Ivanovic. Below Mariapa's header. Daly. And that is the shot of a man who is playing game number 43 at this level without having found the back of the net. As runners breaking left and right. And now moving into the middle is Holman. Good save by Holmes. Jake Holman nearly had A-League goal number two. Class and Tom Yano as well. Lots of players congregated at the near post. That's where the corner goes. Flicking through and much. Not able to slide in at the back post. As Parsons attacks the ball, but can't fashion a header. Truman's cross. So one of the other subs, Rose, to swing in the corner. Hones it in, and a defensive header. Well, last touch off, Yanu. Thought Neville might have got to the ball first there, but no, definitely was the MacArthur attacker. So a goal kick. Adams, a bender, a deflection, and the woodwork. So close for the 20-year-old. Can he find the right pass, though? Square ball, O'Shea, and now Truen. Saved initially, and a block. Huge from Shuzhnia. Kai Truen, two shots there. Here comes the corner. Bending right into the far post. It sits up for Henry Hoare, and smashed in by Neville. And the roar will feel it is no less than they deserve. Scott Neville with his first goal in more than two years. It's going to be really interesting how the VAR rolls through this one. Look at Tommy Aldred in at the melee. His arms there. VAR's got a fair bit of work to do on this one. MacArthur now. Got a late goal here, win it for them. It crashes the pack, it goes high and wide. And that will be a goal kick. Good block tackle from Lofthouse. O'Shea flips it out to the right. A real tangle between Shuzhna and Lofthouse. And the assistant referee is flagging. It's a free kick to the raw. Lots of players to aim for. Adams is the man. He drifts it instead. Curto with a strong fist. O'Shea. Yeah, good. Ivanovic. Sends it back wide to the right flank. Adams wants that left foot. A drive. A bobble. 
and held on to at the second time of asking by Kurto. So close for Brisbane, so close for Ivanovic. Kurto very quick to snuff out the rebound chances. Luke Ivanovic was bearing down. Davila. And now Rose, he goes to ground, McGing! Heartbreak for Brisbane, and MacArthur, just like the first half, a goal against the run at the end. First goal in MacArthur colours for Jake McGing, could be so vital to the top six race. Well, great work, Willie Davila, on the Harvey Norman replay. Lockie Rose looked to wriggle clear, but he couldn't quite do it. And it's the local kid, Jake McGing, who fires the ball into the roof of the net.